That's crazy. Fucking Comcast. Okay, looks like we're reconnecting. <laughs> uh, I don't know why my connection is like this. Are we back? My frames are still. Uh, you know what? I think. Hold on. The Comcast <laughs> alert. Right, literally. Comcast. And I got a goddamn ETH cable connected too. <laughs> USA Wi-Fi goes crazy. No, Canadian <laughs> Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, I think we're. I think that fixed the issue. I changed the quality on my Discord stream. I don't know if that fixes it but okay <laughs> looks like we are back sorry about that everyone um is this thing working now oh who said the chat to okay no never mind i thought the chat was said to email only all right sorry we're back we had some connection issues but it's good so welcome to episode two of the ages podcast i am redacted joined with a bunch of folks from the ages defenders league just gonna go around the round table y'all you know you can state your name your team and uh, just how are you feeling today? And we'll start with Tanner. Hello, my name is Tanner. I'm from Optimal Esports Midnight. Uh, I'm going to be the number one seed for Cosmic. And uh, feeling good. Feeling happy oh, what's about your role? Life. Sorry. Jungle. Jungler. I'm the jungler. All right. Optimal Esports Midnight coming in at with a uh, match record of 4-1, game score of 9-4. Next, we got Novosphere Gaming Smurf. Hello. Also a Mexican import. Yes, I'm the Mexican in front of this league. <laughs> Your words not mine. <laughs> I'm the Mexican in for Taco Taco Pizza. I know that's American, sorry. <laughs> but I'm the mid laner of energy. My name in the game is Neofix, but my name in the all social media is, is Morph. So I'm good to be here and thank you for the opportunity. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Smurf. Uh yeah, Nova Sphere Gaming with a match record of four two, game score of eight six, and then of course I might as well just go with the next member I got there on the screen. Gizmo, you up next? Yo, I'm Gizmo. Uh, I'm the head coach and owner of NSG. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be here and listen to all you guys shit talk. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, next up we got uh WKG Dark. What's up? Um. WKG Dark on uh, Northeastern Clubs Esports 2. Um, I think our other team is one league higher, um, the ADC. Um, yeah, ready to talk. All righty, thank you, Mr. Dark, sir. And that's Northeastern Clubs Esports 2. I'm going to ask you about that later. Uh, coming yeah. in with a match record of 3-2 and a game score of 6-5. Next up, a oh, weak side of junglers. Are they... Okay, it's still muted, so they're not home yet. All right, so we're going to pass on weak sided jungler who's still in transit. Uh, and lastly, for as of right now, we got J3 from Royal Esports Club. Good, J3, go ahead. And yeah, we, don't gotta, we don't got to mention the record. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's up, guys? I'm J3, play Royal Esports as mid laner. Brand new to the league. This is our first like attempt, so... Figure I'd jump on the podcast, see what's up. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate that. But you know, J3, look, it wouldn't be a redacted podcast if I didn't do it. Royal Esports Club right now with a match record of 0-5, game score of 110, you know. So not everyone can be a winner, but we do. Actually, I give you more respect for coming on because typically yeah, when teams don't True. do well, they don't show up. So mad respect, like for real. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. People, when you know a league it can be a bit toxic so like yeah respect, respect. for real respect thank you um, thank you yeah so moving forward uh how's everyone doing how are we all feeling about the adl at our current state in week six so um just give me like actually yeah because there's a lot of y'all and i gotta i, I want to make sure we all get good time and we got a few topics we're gonna cover so give me two sentences on your adl experience so far and we'll start with uh j3 actually all right in two, um, sentences, in two sentences two sentences all right yeah. all right 
it has been fun learning experience That's wonderful. and lots of growing pains that we need to work out okay cool. <laughs> all right next up we'll do uh wkg dark um pretty fun i think we have a lot of room for improvement um some of the teams are really strong and very coordinated but uh it's a lot more fun than solo queue i'll say that okay okay awesome awesome uh smurf you're up next um yeah i think it's a lot of work and a lot of evolution as a player and my teammates okay all right tanny it's good to be the future number one seed of a um <laughs> a division this guy's gaffing, and... bro. <laughs> And uh, it was a little rocky start with the tournament code, but it just is goaded, and they got to figure it out. All right, and Gizmo. You know, I think as a coach, I think ADL is one of the most competitive leagues out there that Aegis hosts. Um, and I think that in terms of the tight-knit community, I think this is the most toxic but yet fun community to be a part of. Awesome. Out of all the ages ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to know. Flay is happy to know that uh, the banter is still alive and well. <laughs> um, and from Weak Sided Jungler, because they are still in commute or in transit, but they typed out their sentences, so I'm going to read them. Uh, we are our own biggest enemies, closer playoff race than I expected, and they are on the team a Forgotten Kingdom with a game match record of 3-3, game score of 8-7. So... Uh, they'll be here pretty soon, though. <laughs> getting to my PC in two minutes, getting in the driveway. Dude, please drive safe. <laughs> <laughs> He's tearing oh up the highway God. on the... Right, to get to the podcast, bro. The phone in the other hand. Okay, so, um... Let's get right to our first order of business, right? Discussion of... Well, before that, actually. Let me run it back. Let's look first at Watercat's not so what was it watercast not so biased predictions is that what he called it that's what he always calls it yeah not so biased predictions yeah 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 let's take a look at that and see how watercast's predictions ended up uh turning out against the actual matches here so i'm gonna display that on the screen in just a second for y'all and i what do y'all think about watercast's predictions were you like offended were you uh, did you find them viable what are our thoughts on watercast predictions here oops not gonna lie kind of feeling like every week it's just whoever has the best record is the winning team and then <laughs> the other one is losing um, yeah i mean no, i imagine no, they no, don't no. watch all the vods so they probably can't tell team quality to be fair but oh shit i'd almost agree with you however we've been predicted to lose for like the first four weeks and here we are four and two so i mean that two of those weeks are wrong right there off the math so you know and we had a rough start we i think we lost like the first two three weeks so yeah this is pretty rough okay anyone else got have their thoughts on uh Watercast not rigged week six prediction predictions. My goodness, English is. I, I feel uh, he he rolled a dice uh, and he got the prediction from the dice because I don't know <laughs> since week one and six week uh, and the, the the week six uh, it's just random because I, I know the predictions are so random. It's like one, one time I, I see us uh, losing a, a match against uh, ID Hydra, and he's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> so I, I think their prediction is roll a dice and let's go what I get. Yeah. Uh, currently, as of week five, his accuracy is 64%. So what is that, D? Is that a D based on a grading scale? Or is that an F? That's a D. That's You're a right. D. Yeah, a. that's pretty poor. Water cat. <laughs> uh, but last week, at, for week five alone, he got six out of eight predictions right. So let's see what he got right this time, right? Okay. So the first um, prediction was Royal Esports versus Nova Northeastern. My goodness. Northeastern Club Sport Esports. Oh my God. NECE2. NECE2. I'm, I'm saying that. NECE2. Yeah. 
Could just say northeastern. Yeah, true, 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 true. Uh, uh, we actually didn't play this week because yeah, uh, spring break, like a bunch of people left, so they couldn't play on Monday. Yeah. So I think we rescheduled to Sunday. But um, I think so. I have I a think. feeling that we're gonna win. Just small, uh, <laughs> small inclination. I don't know what. It's a random feeling. Oh boy, I've been trolled. Okay, well that one's out the bag. All right, next one: a Forgotten Kingdom against Optimal Esports Midnight. What was that? Yeah, I have no comments on that. I have, I have no comments on that one, bro. My team may have grouped me. <laughs> yeah, we kind of jungle. Just uh, let me talk. Okay, I got it. <laughs> but it looks like uh, it looks like Watercat got that wrong. Actually, it was yeah. every time in favor of uh, OE. Bro, every time this guy bets for my team, we lose. I I need my guy to bet against my team for once. <laughs> hey, we proved the blue side buys wrong. You guys lost on blue side, and you it's just embarrassing, honestly. All I'm going to say is, is that it is what it is. We will surely bounce back. My team will stop griefing. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll see. Surely. Next is uh, Mint Gaming against DePaul University JV Red. And that record was correct, actually. Okay. So I mean, not hard. You're betting first seed versus last seed. That's not hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, anything is possible in the world of amateur esports, right? Right? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, five weeks in, four weeks in, you can't really... Uh, I don't think you can justify that one. I was trying to throw him a bone. All right, so <laughs> he got another one wrong or incorrect, actually, with 2 1 on um, Bing Chiller's Diamond. It was actually in favor of Bing Chiller's. So, so far, Watercat has one of three currently. Uh, next up, Connie Sports against Devo DePaul again. Did that one get the A2? Nope. Con one. So that's two out of two out of five. Okay. Not bad, Watercat. Rubber Ducky. Also. Uh, he didn't get the score right, but he got the win. So I don't know how he counts those. So I'm guessing he will get, take that as a W. So that's three out of, uh, what's that? Three out of six? Yeah, three out of six so far. And then Noah Sphere against Oversoul. How'd y'all how'd feel about him predicting y'all to um, win this 2-1? Which actually ended up being the case. I mean, I, I was thinking that was be uh, too serious for us. Yeah. But the first game was rude. I don't know what happened in that game. We don't have damage and the scales you and, and the kale used um one minute in the game. But the second and the third game I think was uh, very good for us because we got a really really good advantage on the another team. And we cannot end the game in early minutes mm -hmm. because they have a lot of uh, way clear and we don't know how to end games like that. But uh, in my talks, I was thinking that was uh, too serious for energy. Okay. Realistically, I thought it was going to be a 2-1. For how close it was in the, the standings between the two of us, I thought it was going to be pretty close if we were to win it. Okay. Got you. Got you, got you. And then the last one, we missed it back, Black Cats against Fugitives, which he also got right as well, I believe. Uh, let me double check. Did he get yeah. this whole side, right? Um, let me see. Con, Rubber Ducky, Nova Spirit. Yeah, he did get it right, just not in game score. <laughs> not all of them in game score, but I guess you still. They got take the winners that as right. A, on yeah, it. he got the winners right. So I guess you take yeah. that as the dub. Huh? Yeah, I don't know how he's doing it, but I would assume maybe that's the case. Um, I mean, it's his own hey, prediction, so. <laughs> <laughs> But okay, all right, all right. So moving on, y'all. Um, I'm gonna, let me ask y'all a different question before we go on to the weekly, um, a ADL weekly. Who has who has made the biggest impression on you so far since y'all have been here in ADL? Uh, that's not on your team. It has to be a different player, starting with Tanner. Player. Yep. Which player? You gotta have at least one. It's gotta. It doesn't have to be good, by the way. It can be the bad. Like, yo, I can't believe player. like they have this guy as their jungler or something. You know? Oh, so it's worst or best impression? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That changes. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So far, like most of the teams that we've we've been against haven't really like 
wowed us. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I know our boys and thing chillers, those are some demons. So <laughs> that whole roster, actually, they've, it's changed completely from when it started, and I actually don't know any of them now. So, but they're they're subs, UBC Souter and Demo. They're cool. Oh, those are my boys. <laughs> yeah, they're subbing. <laughs> <laughs> I know demo subbed. I don't know if Sabre has. Got you, got you. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, WKG. Um, I'm going to go for a worst impression. What match was it? I think it was last week against the Forgotten Kingdom. Their bot lane, we got predicted against, and um, they kind of ran it down. I don't know what the what happened. I think I went like 14-2 and two in game two. Um, yeah, I don't know... They're diving for ADC and support. Um, yeah, that was kind of. I don't. I don't really know what happened there. Do I even want to look at the post game for that game? I think I might want to wipe it from my memory now, don't I? <laughs> it was a uh, suspect. Let's just say that. Let's just say they might have the highest highs and lowest of lows. That's possible. Oh damn! Even defend his teammate. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to say is they can defend themselves. They should join the podcast. <laughs> hey, 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 he's spitting right there, you know? Because now that person won't get a chance for like another two weeks. And who knows? They might be out by then. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, J3. Um, I would probably have to say uh, Pop 2K. Okay. What a, we played against him game one. He was one of the worst players I've ever seen. Like it was so bad. Shit. And then and then game two, Lowfucker comes out with like eleven CS a minute and like a fourteen and KD. I was like, what the? F who's what? Who's playing on his account? Like it was just a complete one eighty. It was insane. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that was reported to league officials. No, nah, no. Nah. Well, it, it might be now. You know, Flay watches these. <laughs> About to get the shadow state on the ass. He's a fraud. <laughs> the age of CIA. They exist. Trust me. That's all oh, I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that was not my intention. <laughs> um, is Weep Side Jungler here yet? Oh, bro. I've been here, bro. What? <laughs> oh, what did you say? What did you even speak? Oh, bro, bro, I've been sick for five minutes. <laughs> did you introduce yourself? We had a conversation. <laughs> uh huh? No, I was driving. I was I was still in the car, bro. I joined like five minutes ago. Hey, exactly. So I was supposed to know you was in here. Uh, he was talking. Now, oh, bro, people were talking, bro. What? I wasn't paying attention to the. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to everything. All right, Weekside Jungler, <laughs> welcome to the Ages Podcast. My bad. Um, what's your role? <laughs> Uh, jungle, and what's sadly. Your and what's your IGN? Oh, I'm um, Swordswalker. Hello, hello. <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite <laughs> champion? I I don't know. Maybe the one that's been perma-banned against me every single match. Which one is that? Wait, are oh, you that. the master you one trick? I won't say one trick. Oh my god, trick, so. it's him, bro. <laughs> what do you mean by it's him? What is that supposed to mean, man? I think you were the team that uh, I was just shit talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. That's yeah, that, That's exactly what I said. If my bot oh, yeah, lane yeah, defend yeah. themselves, they can be here, bro. Yeah. I will not defend their griefing. I will not defend their griefing. <laughs> Ban no games bro. from the league, please. Oh, I'm I just ban them out, and that's fine. Yo, you ban Jax and Yver this guy, and he's, he's done. <laughs> no Jax, no ye, GG. Okay. No brain can't win. <laughs> All right, so um, now let's get into um, Dumanas. Is that how you say his name? Be Dumanas. Dumanas. How y'all say his name? It's me. I. All right, we're we getting into the game. Who? Yeah, first time you're hearing the name. The author of the Aegis Defender Weekly. I never. Oh, oh, I think it's. Dude, uh, I have no idea. Not that I actually mention it. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to pronounce. I'm just going to call him Buddha. Buddha. I yep. think Buddha is how you Buddha. pronounce it. Buddha Man. 
He might be the right. Oh, yeah. It's probably Buddha Man. <laughs> oh, Buddha Man. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. But anyway, uh, let's see. So as we only got Nova Sphere from Dark, Sc- Dark, Dark Star. Yeah. In here, uh, I'm going to start with Nova Sphere. And then we're going to transition to the other side. So Nova Sphere... Uh, here's what he said about y'all. Both of these teams really want to win this series in order to start their climb to the standings, blah, blah, blah. Key differences, let's get to the last couple of lines. That being said, Mr. is still the underdog here, and we need to draft in the way that gives them... Mm-hmm. Adjust their win condition becomes becomes it to their team. He predicted y'all to win 2-1, and y'all actually went... Wait. That's, the wrong That's old. That's old news. What week is this? Oh, this is week five. Did he not do a week six? No, I don't think no, so. No, no, no. He did a week six, bro. It's a, it's, yeah, he did. Did I miss mm. it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Hold on. Uh, I got you at the link. He definitely posted the week six, bro. Let me get it for you. Oh, uh, shit. Wait, wait did oh, he? I see, wait, am I, I, I trolling? Okay, it. yeah. I, I was going to say Mystic Cats. That was, that was two weeks ago for like, us. Yeah, that is not the correct team. Here it is. My bad. Sorry, y'all. Trolled it. Okay, so he predicted y'all two one, and he was actually correct. Um, what do y'all did y'all did y'all anyone from Nova Sphere get a chance to read this? Yeah, I read it. What do you think of what he predicted about your or said about your opponents? So I mean, like the thing that he always says about NSG, and this is this goes for every like person that does their weekly. They always shit on my drafts, and it's crazy because like. <laughs> I don't, I don't have the most ordinary players on any of my rosters, so I kind of have to tailor my drafts towards what they actually play, right? So I, you guys just have to let me cook on the content team, I swear. And then you guys just have to trust it, because if you guys don't, then you guys will get your predictions wrong on upsets every time. I promise. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. I might be on the side of the content team. This is some crazy shit. I'm Smurf, you got right anything now. to say about that? Did you read this? <laughs> yes, I think Nafix uh-huh. is overrated, by the way. <laughs> uh, I feel they, they give me a lot of prominence when, in reality, we all do your part in the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, but to certain extent, I feel like there's a, there aren't many good mid laners in my group, except from the Robert Ducky mid laner. Because I think he's the only mid laner with level in Dark Star group. But it's not to flame the another mid laners, but I think they say I'm good because the another mid laners are not good enough than me. So I really uh, pass um, sobre los otros porque es como que siento que le saco mucho si es en línea. Y además de eso, siento que mi manejo de la línea es superior a los de los demás. Lo cual me tiene un poquito más triste, porque en realidad pensé que ya aquí iba a haber un poquito más de nivel, pero no lo hay. ¿Gizmo? So, he said that, like, you know, he respects them a lot because individually they're all better laners and that, uh-huh. you know, eventually they've got to work up to be, be become the better laners in this, this, uh, this group that we play in, right? Because... Obviously, Rubber Ducky, they're just individually better, so there's got to be a way that we we come together, and it's by, you know, playing together. Okay, cool. Cool, thank you for that. Thank you. Um, all right, so moving on, we'll go to the Cosmic um, Realm side. And uh, we'll start with Royal Esports against uh, Northeastern. Um, what do we have to say about anything Buddha man said here, <laughs> dark. Um, I mean, what we're getting a oh, our jungler got called out for being good. Okay, I'll have to let him know that. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is probably true. I don't know, really, sports they seem like they're down bad, so um, just kind of we just kind of make playoffs at this point, okay. Uh, J3, any thoughts on uh, this uh, paragraph? Yeah, I don't think I don't think the guy that wrote this is a uh, actually watched any of the games. Because <laughs> uh, Bastilla was mid, now he's back to support. So <clears throat> I think we have a very I think we have a very good chance of actually 
beating them on Sunday. I think our team is finally uh, hitting their stride. Okay. A little late, but yeah, who I think uh, <laughs> but we play dark. Yeah, okay. Northeastern. <clears throat> so let's see how it goes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Dark, you gonna let the O in? We got 15. nobody from Dude, I, I don't here, even so. I don't have anything to say, bro. I said what I want to say. Dude, we're <laughs> playoffs playoff it's it's free for us now. We just gotta just trying to secure the bag, honestly. So what I'm learning is Tanner's an instigator. He just wants you to like say the wrong <laughs> thing right now. It's like jeez, man. All right, then we we got lastly here a Forgotten Kingdom versus Optimal Esports Midnight. Uh prediction was two one. Um Tanner, oh, it looks like you got plenty you want to say. Go ahead. I see you. I see you're um, yeah. to get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, my team, we always decide to just troll game one because we don't scrim. We haven't scrimmed in probably two weeks because you're nobody has teams. It's really like we wish we weren't. We probably won't be come around playoffs, but we just haven't had time and different people are work trips and everything. But then we always just reverse sweep. So. Okay. We excited? All right. Yeah, are we excited? Yeah. Well, I'm right. what I'm gonna say is we might we might have been game one Andes. Um, we felt ourselves a little bit too much in game two and game three. We may have thrown, I think game two maybe close to a six to eight k gold lead. Mm -hmm. We will not speak about what occurred, but we will come back. We will surely come back stronger next week. <laughs> I, I won't speak of what actually happened in the game. It will be wiped from my memory. <laughs> Okay, and next week y'all are playing DePaul. Oh yeah, that should be a dub. Come on, bro. All I'm gonna say is if I lose that, I, it might be time for retirement. How bro, long have no you been offense. playing in the amateur that you need to retire already? Where, where's uh, the balance to vote on that? One split. <laughs> one split, and he's already calling for retirement. You got a long way to go, buddy. Does anyone have any questions for anyone in the? Uh, in the chat with us right now or anything y'all want to bring up before we move on to the next thing we're actually progressing a way quicker than there are people in the chat bro not sorry chat or in this discord server because uh -huh. remember i said this isn't just supposed to be a one-way street so all i'm going to say is before we move on just looking at the cosmic and dark dark star standing mm -hmm. it seems that like there only seems to be what five teams in playoff contention. Other all the other three teams are like out for sure. So I'm pretty sure like for Cosmic, uh, the matches just to look out for are AFKs in Bing Chillers as the like main two to decide tiebreakers. I could be wrong on that. Yeah. No, looking at right. it. And then uh, looking at Dark Star, it's on. I, does NSG have had tied against uh, yeah, Hydra? We beat, yeah, we beat Hydra. So, so I mean, our, our, decides, our side's pretty much decided. It's just a yeah. matter of if my team would make third seed or not. That's pretty yeah. much it. Yeah, Dark, is Dark Star like 100% guaranteed he's going to be top four? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know your side that much. Yeah, we already got confirmed in, so and we're fourth seed right now. So, I mean, like I said, if we if we win and Oversoul loses this week, then we're guaranteed third seed. Yeah, and oh, we just Oversoul go, go against Oversoul goes against Rubber Ducky. So yeah, it seems that fugitives. So yeah, it seems that top four is like hundred percent guaranteed uh, to be uh, top four already. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was looking at chat, and there's actually a good question in here uh, that I only it's only specifically to Smurf though. So like, I'm just gonna ask Smurf this. <laughs> <laughs> and this person has asked, "What's the hardest part of being an import? How do you deal?" With having to communicate in another language, um, I feel it's a little difficult because I have never played in uh, NA team. Mm -hmm. I was playing with comms in English. With at the beginning, it was quite of difficult for me because I have been playing with LAN uh, teams mm -hmm. my entire career, and I changed to NA and started with this language. But I'm happy to my progress because. Uh, I improve my communications uh, a lot of times, and week by week, I'm getting better in my English. Sometimes I I don't know how to say um, some words or some sentences, mm -hmm. but I think my progress in the English is really good because uh, Gizmo can tell you my English at the start was like a piece of shit, 
uh, <laughs> I, I was only telling, okay, go meet, uh, cover, and it's like, I can't communicate my my team the all things I, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. because I'm a player who communicates a lot. Um, I'm always talking, but when I changed to NAA, that was a, a, a really, that, that was bad for me, because someone, they get ganked by the jungler when I... It was now. I know when where, where is the jungler and things like that. But I'm happy to see my 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 progress in in NA and I want to keep improving keep improving my English. Okay, that's what's up. Well, uh, good luck to you, and you're you're on the right track. So yeah, keep up the practice, man, and you'll get there. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um. All right, so moving on, y'all. Uh, of course, you know, as usual, this wouldn't be a redacted podcast if I didn't ask y'all something that got some people's feathers or feelings a little bit hurt. So, because there's so many of y'all, though, I'm only going to ask for one. Um, so, actually, I'll do... I'll do two. You don't got to tell me a reason why. But I need to know who do you think are your, to name two players who are all star potential uh, at this point of the season now because I mean regular season's ending next week so all star and MVP you gotta give me of, so three of people. our sides of the bracket or other sides of the bracket or just your side of the bracket because I don't think y'all know right. of other sides of the bracket I mean Gizmo you might because you're the coach so you're like looking at the other teams I only know Source Walker because he tried out for. Uh, group so next me yeah there. Uh, you, uh, there. actually check the names here there sorry y'all uh, the stream had died a little bit <laughs> but it's yeah back. you're back yeah. Phil. you're back it's back <laughs> i don't know what killed it but yeah i'm gonna blame Comcast. um <laughs> tanner i think you might have to speak again though because i think it died when you were talking I was the one talking. I was just saying because oh, you asked me if I knew players from the other side, and I was like, "Yeah, I just know Source Walker." But yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, who's next? <laughs> I'm thrown off. I was just saying um, when you when you your internet died that I don't really yeah. know any of the players on my side of the bracket. None, redacted. None of us have answered the question at all. Like, okay. we're, we are okay. just we are just chilling in here waiting for you oh, to come back. That was okay, it. Yeah. because yeah, when it yeah. died, like I couldn't hear anything. Like not even y'all. So I didn't know like yeah. who was. Yeah, no, we just chilled in here. Oh damn. Okay, so Tanner, you, you we're passing you. Oh, you never asked me. Yeah. Okay, there I'm you asking go. you now. <laughs> He's asking you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think on my side of the bracket, because I do know some Dark Star players, uh, honestly, my teammate, Night Ravens, our top laner, he's just goaded. Like, this guy can do everything. He's a Fiora one trick, but no one knows it. So I just leaked that. Oh, I should have said that. Why are we leaking? <laughs> We're also just absorbed. Mm -hmm. he's, getting that, he's getting that free ban. The best oh, top laner ever. Thanks for the strap, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and then on the cosmic side, my boy Masho, Rubber Duck Gaming Jungler. He's coached me before. I love that guy. He's he's one of the best junglers in all of these leagues. So. Okay. And who is your MVP? MVP like completely of everything. Yep. Raven, Raven on Rubber Duck Gaming. That guy just hooks every game. Okay. Cool. WKG, you next. Um, I don't really know player names. The Mint Gaming and Optimal Esports Midnight are kind of good. We kind of got ruled by both of them. So, um, probably one of their players. Or if not, um, my top laner, if he's on Darius. That's what I'll say. <laughs> don't ban it, please. I'm begging. Why are y'all leaking your own strat? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if we're what if we're like reverse psychology it? Yeah. Also, don't ban his rumble. That's crazy. Don't don't let him trick you, redacted. This is this is just amateur hour at its finest. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. J three. Uh, I'm probably have to give it to Revan too. <clears throat> I haven't 
I haven't seen much of him. Mm. I, I don't know him too well, but just looking at the stats, seems insane. Okay. All right. Um, and then we'll do weak side of jungler. Bro, I'm going to be real with you. This is my first split in ADL. I don't recognize any of these player names, but the only person... Uh, it's so it's so hard to take like stuff from just a one game series because I don't watch other people's like vods. True. So, I mean, if you want like all star or like MVP, you probably would have to be forced to go with uh, RDG on Dark Star. Uh, they are undefeated, and uh, I have faced them in Titan, and their uh, roster is very solid. So, and you can take anyone from their roster, and they will probably be like. Uh, all star for uh, for their position in the regular season, so okay. don't think that's don't think that's very like refutable. Yeah, right, sounds good. Sounds good. And Smurf, um, the same as my guy because it's my first split in the ADL, but in my group, actually, I think um, Raven is a strong player. I think he's the best of the Robert Ducky gaming. Mm -hmm. He's always one behind that team. Mm -hmm. And Robert Ducky knows how, how to play around him. So I'm going to say Rayman. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you all for that. Um, for your insights and intake. Hopefully, you know, no one doesn't at you later in the general chat talking about, damn. No, I get, I'm going to get added by my own team for what I just said. No, literally. So, that's, 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 I was about to say, not even from other people, from your own team. Like, oh, wow. So you oh, think they're I, better than me? <laughs> I see my top player. I see my top player literally typing ha 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 in chat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. So we're going to move on to the quiz. But before we do, I'm going to open the floor to y'all real quick once again. Um, if anyone has any thoughts questions random comments they want to get out before our next hey. oh, I thought um, I was going to say something. playing against maokai and playing in maokai Senna meta is disgusting mm -hmm. with karma it's i actually hate it it's actually so bad and these three champions have just been op for like the whole season Oh, but don't worry, bro. Senna got 10% AD scaling on our Q taken off, and Maokai got minus 5 mass. I think it's saved. We can do yeah, anything. Like, well, like, what the fuck? Is, like, hire me, please. I, I'll do better than the balance team in one patch. With, I mean, like, all I'm going to say is... All I'm going to say is we are all beneath Freak's feet, bro. That guy hit GM. <laughs> so. Hey, for all you players, take this back to your coaches, if you guys got some, right? <laughs> Not pick seraphine it's a bait pick everybody thinks it's good because it's flexible across three roles it's the worst pick in the game right now people do not that. know how to play people do not know how to play it correctly and they just lose with it i yep. promise you go look at go look at nsg's game this week go look at <laughs> like look at any of the other teams that pick up yeah exactly look at that he might be projecting See? on this one no, nah, Seraphine is the worst pick right now. All right, I mean, I can, I can, I mean, we can literally just look at the stats right now. So Seraphine yeah, right yeah. now, right. Seraphine how about, right how about, now. How about that smolder? How about that smolder? What do you mean, Seraphine? Is, dude, Seraphine's, positive, Seraphine's positive win rate, bro. Come on. Yeah, Seraphine's positive win rate. Yeah, win rate is yeah. A, a really good yeah, stat what, to look at. Oh, hey, uh, for sure. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's extrapolate data without any context. It's time. Agreed. I'm dead. Hey, all I'm gonna say is, based on these ADL stats, we all suck at Smolder, bro. This guy's thirty percent win rate. Wait, really? No way. That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's three it's three and seven. So the AFK champion that just wins stacks, the game. Man, that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, I think Smolder also should be played in Soul, and he just gets so much, so many more stacks in one v one lane than uh. Did his soul lane get, get get hit more than his bot lane off the recent changes this patch? Could be wrong. Where are they been playing solo lane yeah. in uh, in mid? Uh, I think you can play it mid and top because that champion is so disgusting. You could just play it in both. I'm, <laughs> I'm keeping my lips sealed on this one because I actually know like all the details on the insider numbers of that. So I'm not. I'm not going to speak on it. Just DM not going to give DM you guys like info. DM me. I got you redacted. <laughs> I got it, bro. Someone's saying Smolder's a good counter pick in my opinion. Silly boy Joe. Who, who's that? Does anyone know who that is? No, that's my top laner. Top you can player. ignore him. You can ignore him a little bit. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. But uh, let's move on to this quiz. Y'all ready? 
PVS. Yeah. Uh, the ADL quiz, courtesy of PVS. I got to make sure I shout him out because I don't think I shouted him out last time. And I got to shout him out because without him, I would have less content for this. <laughs> oh, who was that? Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Nope. Okay, I, I, thought that, I thought that was just me. I'm like, did we hear all hear white noise? Okay, anyway, it moving might, it on. It might have been by accident. Uh, no, it's all good. So moving on. Thank you, PVS, for this quiz. Uh, I think he made it really hard once again, which is awesome because I can't wait to see you all mauled. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Sorry. Quiz time. Question number. Oh, I was one. I was over whatever this last week on this one. Oh God. Not quiz time. All right. Can y'all see it on my in my Discord? Like in Discord. I'm still streaming, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you are. It's working. It's working. All right. So. You can just shout out the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can just shout out the answer. Once everyone's given their answer, then I'll. Or, you know, I'll go in order. So I have to make sure everyone's given their answer. So, uh, Tanner, you first. D. E. D. <laughs> okay. You guys, better not, you guys better not be cheating off the, off the stat page, by the way. Ain't no way. Right. I had it up, uh, <laughs> No, no, no. Smurf, no. what about you? Um. I don't know. I'm on the A or the B. Okay. No, you got to choose one. You got to choose one. You got to commit. Um, Just go with your choice, man. Go Revan, Revan, Revan. Revan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You say this way. I got to go with Cool Jace. Cool I got to go B. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Dark? Um, I wouldn't be... I don't really... Three of these are from not on my side of the bracket. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's Limester, because I, I don't know. I've seen him in, like super high on a bunch of the stats for some reason. Weak side. It's it's either A or B. I'll yeah. go with my... I'm going to go against my gut feeling and say B, but... Okay. And J3. I'm going to say B as well. All right. Those of y'all that guess B are correct. <laughs> it is LL Cool Jace with 9 CS per... Per minute right I was, now, average. I was gonna say the That's game crazy. the game that he played against us, he had like eleven or twelve CS a minute. It was nuts. So this guy's printing CS. Yeah. Showing it. He's nasty. Yep. All right, what is Syndra's win rate in the ADO? Oh bro, I can't wait to it must be like I'm not okay. this time I'm not gonna go in order. I'm just gonna have everyone say their answer and then Bro, it must be A, bro. I I, I, I think this champion's good, but I don't know, we just suck. And then when there's dead silence, I'm just gonna like give the answer. So <laughs> I'm gonna guess A. B. I haven't really seen anyone. I'm gonna guess A, bro. Smurf, you're the mid later in here, bro. Which one is it? Bro, Sinra sucks. I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna say A, bro. You know what? I trust my mid laner. I'm going to go with B with him on this one. Okay. Anyone else got a guess before I reveal the answer? I'll say B as well. Okay. Uh, maybe. It might be A. Fuck. I've only seen like one Syndra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if it loses on that one game and then you see it on another game, I mean, shoot, the win rate's inflated. It might, it might be A. I don't know. <laughs> All righty. Is that everybody? Oh shit! Oh, hey yo, yo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the answer is A, eighteen percent. I fucking no, knew it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, yeah. no. Picked That's eleven so times, wow. two nine I'm records. I'm, tell I'm telling you, this ass. champions. I'm telling you, this champion is literally fine. We just suck. Wait, wow. what is happening with the Syndras on the ADL? They're all sucked <laughs> or something? What? Hmm? Too hard, bro. I think I he guess, just takes I too guess. long to get get online because of which team? Ha hey, how is this possible? Yeah, who's picking? Uh, is it like one team that's just picking? That's, it? Okay, okay. Bro, this All is what I say is is that I'm just, I'm gonna be a massive hater, and it has to be like B or D. Yeah. I'm sorry. Weird, I'm sorry, J3. I gotta say it's your team just because of the record, Wait. man. Like... No, 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 no. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because I'm pretty sure he might have gotten Baron in the one win against me on my team. We won. Yeah. I think it's you. Oh wait, Steve. you did win one match. Okay, we so, won yeah, our I think it's very Steve. first game against. I think it's D. Okay. Okay. I think it's D. Okay. Not yeah. answers that. I think, I think it's D. I think it's D. No, there's no way Fugitive, oh. bro, there's no way Fugitive has never slayed a Baron Nasher, bro. It's it's either D or A. It's either D or A. I, I swear to oh. God. 
You see, Smurf, you is, see. Smurf is cooking at sea. It's got to be sea because they're, they're last in our group. Fugitives oh, is last in our group. Wait, Fugitives is last in your group? Oh, it's sea then. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's, it's, I'm going with D. Fuck it. It's either C or D. I'll go with C. Let, let I'm, C. Yeah, I'm going to go C with my boy. All right. Anyone else? The answer is... D, DePaul Blue, six games. <laughs> no. No. no way. Yeah. No way. Wait, isn't that the team I face next week? <laughs> well, there you I go, know, bro, I mean, bro, I caught me Smurf and I get him wrong. <sighs> bro, they're last on your roof. Who oh, they stole a measure? <laughs> All All right, so next question. Which champion has the highest win rate in ADO? Brand. Minimum five brand. games played. Oh, I think I know. It has to be Brand. 100% yeah, it's gotta brand. be Brand. It has to be Brand, has to be brand or Ash. Which, which, one's really Which one? Which no, one? No, no. It can't, be, it, it can't be Uter. It can't be Uter because like top lane Uters all suck. So it has to be A or B. There's no way it's Ash because you have to like be kind of good to win on that champ. <laughs> it's okay, but like, but like, how many top laners are just lucky in Trundle versus like bad top laners and split pushing to win? A lot on my side of the bracket. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a pretty common picker ban on my side. It's either A or D. Like, I feel like Trundle probably has like five games played and 80% win rate. Brand might have like seven, but like he's only won like five, like four to five of them, you know? Dude, I think I've only seen like one brand on my side, so I think it's Trundle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Trundle. Trundles. I'm gonna say Trundle. Right. I'm gonna say Trundle. I'm gonna say Trundle. Wait, yeah, people, I'm people just so level, people. man. Yeah, people I'm just level. Don't know, push. Yeah. Brands? Nice. Yeah. Brent's the most OP jungler in the game. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, redacted. The answer is Smurf is correct. It is Brand with five, oh, really? five oh, wow. one record, eighty three percent pick uh win rate. The one time I don't copy Damn. on many. <laughs> Wait, let's Trundle's win rate then. What what's Trundle's what's Trundle's win rate? Uh PBS didn't give me those stats, but I'm sure they're in the sheet. Let me see if I can. They're in the thing. We really like, want to see. Trundle like, Trundle just seems like win rate 70%. 70. Yeah, 70. Wait, doesn't that mean Trundle's is higher? Hey, yo. Ashes is Oh, no, oh never mind. No, really? no, my five, no, five, five one versus seven, three. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely. All right. Damn. So, next question. Which champion has been? Oh, this. Should oh, be I know this one. Yeah. Oh, this I know this one. I, it, it's C, bro. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I think everyone's gonna guess C. <laughs> it, it's gotta be C, bro. Here's the thing, though, because we get banned Nico all the time as well. So that's no, but the, no, but the thing is, never oh, picked. Never picked. Just played. Yeah. Never picked. Oh, but it's never been picked. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, think we picked I, mean, the... I mean, Master Yi is a cop out pick. I mean. Yeah. Who plays, one it. who plays it in comp, and two, we know who does play it in comp. So, <laughs> I mean, true. Can someone let the Yi through one time? It is C, by the way. I just want to see what happens Honestly, if they get their hands. We almost, we almost My let it through, and yeah. then we didn't. My like, team just is sorry, bro. Like, a Yi will get cooked by a good team. I I don't know. I've seen this man cook because he did it in my tryouts and he cooked on the E. So I, you know what? It's got my backing at this point. I, I just I'm gonna suggest any team that plays against it ban it, ban it. Oh Bro, why you gotta be such a hater, man? <laughs> so Raven let it through and they didn't even pick it. He was scared. Oh dang! All right, we can skip past this one. I think we all know the answer. Redacted. All right, Nidalee's movement. Yeah, I said it was C. Uh, zero picks, fifteen bans. Nidalee's movement speed was nerfed in patch 14.5. What is her new move? See, this is why I love PBS, man. I love that. I think what? it's C. I'm pretty sure 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 I wrote the patch Let's notes. Let's see if y'all reading these patch notes. If y'all some sure. real league like, players like you say you are. Isn't there like three junglers in here? It's, it's C. Okay, bro, none of us have the hands to play this champion, bro. Ayo. <laughs> but are you reading the patch notes? I actually went 14 and 2, so. It's C. It's definitely C. Guaranteed. Yeah, I was so really. surprised that it was so so high before. Bro, she's cat. She has to be mobile. Anyone else uh, have any other guesses? Or I, I want to be C? unique. I'm going to say B. Okay. I was going to go B, Smurf. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? B as well. Okay, we got three for B. Is that it? I think so. Okay. The answer is B. 355. Oh, yeah. oh, it was wow. previously 340, which was C. Crap. Can't win. Can't win. Yup. 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 All right. Next question. How many champions have not made an appearance in ADL? No pick or ban. Jesus Christ. 
Whoa. This is a crazy stat to think about, by the way. That's why I like how unique. I love how unique. Him, man. He right, makes these, I love his quizzes. These are great. Gotta be DRC. I'm gonna guess C. Like, 37 seems. Actually, oh, I'm no, guessing man. D. I'm going ball Z. There There's so many champs that people just don't play, bro. There's just so many champs in the I game. I mean, no, no, but the thing is, though, that ADL versus AML has, like, half the amount of teams. So you get, like, way less variety that way. Yeah. So there guess. also is a lot of champions, though, in general. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. It's either C or D for me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets and place go C, I guess. But okay, we got one on C. I'll go D. I like think it was yeah, like go D. Or Vex Vilkas. One on D. Okay. Anyone else? B B B B B B. Okay. Early B. Deuce. That's cooking. That's I'm a cooking. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I think yeah. I think it's D. And there's so many champions, like fucking team. Like three for D. Yeah, yeah something okay. like that. Three for D. I think one for B and two for C or something like that, or one for C. Yeah. Okay. The answer is C. Twenty six champions have been All right. Or All That's right. We're winning. Wait, insane. wait. Who was the one C? Who was the one C? Was it Swiss Walker? It was nice. me, bro. Nice. Good call. The big brain. All right. And then last question. This one is a bonus question. Because it has nothing to do with League. But let's see if you guys get it right. right. <laughs> How much does it seem? Oh, what? Uh, yeah. 600, 600, 600. <laughs> let's see who the CS players are. <laughs> Wait, Tanner, do you play CS? Because you're pretty confident on that answer. Yes, sir, I do. All right, All right, okay. All right, All right, right. Yeah, okay, there we go. This is what we call a like, jungle gap. This is what we call a like, jungle gap, so... <laughs> Yes, sir. Y'all are lucky Tanner's here. The answer is C. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's God. <laughs> I was going to go B before Tanner was just like, yo, it's it's 600. Tanner was saying that a, so a is rapidly. The, he cited like Molotov. A is 400. Uh, the high explosive is 300. The smoke is 300. And the flash is 200. Well, <laughs> take a show, man. I, he knows. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've played that game for 10 years. <laughs> Damn. You know, I played CS like w way back when, but I just came to realize PC shooters are just, it's not my thing, bro. I'm, I'm a console <laughs> shooter. That's valid, honestly. I'm a console shooter because I tried Valorant too and I was getting my ass whooped and I was like, yeah, I'm good. Y'all PC boys got it, man. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> nah, bro. for real. PC shooters are different, bro. <laughs> Last yeah, give me uh, give me season one Apex back, please. <laughs> no, I never play League of Legends. <laughs> what was that like? It was so fun. It's like season zero, season one. Uh -huh. It was just, it was Apex so good. To be good. Okay, but they gotta keep on adding content for the Zoomer, Zoomer brain, bro. <laughs> no, and the new champions are ass. Like, give me, I want my Prowler back, bro. Please, <laughs> can I have my Switch Prowler, man? That just seems no, to be a common trend know, with most know, games nowadays. It's like they start out the good ones. and they 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 get worse as they go on. Well, you know they do yeah. gotta they gotta bring in new consumers because obviously like y'all we are the boomers of league you know of like a lot Whoa. of these esports so they gotta get the younger crowd which is which no look real talk you see that's why league had the damage creep because I remember I start I've been playing since season five I don't know about. Some of y'all, maybe y'all have been playing. I was, just, I was gonna, I was, I was, I was gonna ask and go around and, and see. Yeah, yeah, that. Like, okay, Smurf. Since when have you been playing League? How long? Um, what season? Um, fifteen years. Uh, season oh. nine. When it release? Oh. Uh, when when Kiana release? Season I'm nine. I'm seventeen now. Yes. I'm seventeen now. When I was fifteen, I think so. No, when he was fifteen. Oh, years when old. he was okay. fifteen. Like, yeah. For fifteen yeah. years. <laughs> No. No, no, no. When I was well, I know, bro. Yeah, yeah, almost, year. Yeah, almost, almost, it'll be next year 15. Yep, it's this year 15. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Weeks, weeks side. What season? Season eight uh, during stopwatch meta. Damn, it's always stopwatch okay. meta. What meta yeah. hasn't been stopwatch meta? Yeah, <laughs> the rune. I think, I think since like 2012. Oh, so season 12 or 11. Season two, I think. Season two. Season two or three. Yeah, it'd be two or three. I, I remember oh, wait, 2012. I was, I'm tripping. Dude, I was like, yeah. I think 11 or 12 years old. I remember watching Taipei Assassins win, and then I started yep. playing League. Oh, so yep. you're that old. Okay, yeah. so oh, we, got, we, we got we got we got the we got the oh, dinosaur bro. in here. All right, Gizmo, we what about you? Bro. Oh, week one, baby. Week Ever one? since it was released. 
Yeah, my cousin played the beta. I watched it as a kid, and I was like, when that comes out, I'm getting it. And so I did. So yeah, I'm, I'm a Wii. When you have to buy League of Legends. It has a CD. Yeah, oh my I, God. I, I, I think I still have the case somewhere, but I lost it. So, I hope you yeah. do. That's literally like going to be worth something. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably worth something right now. It's like yeah. <laughs> it actually, it probably actually really is. You should go find it. <laughs> I should kidding. find it. Yeah, not even kidding. <laughs> uh, WKG, what about you, man? Uh, season ten, I think like end of season ten too. I think it was when Senna released. Mm. It was like the first champion I really started playing. Got you, got you, and Hannah. Season four, when I was I think eleven, I was watching my brothers play it, and as soon as I got hands on laptop, I started playing it. Dope, 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 dope. Also, that's what's up. You know, we got a bunch of people from all over, but you know, the newbies, like the season eight, season or season ten, J three. I'm sorry, man. You wasn't in there in the trenches with us when League was a technical game and every match what? was like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Say that again. League was a technical game in the past. You, you like, you had to kind of big brain it a lot I feel more. Like the game than, is, than I the feel like the game is still technical, but yeah, they made it technical season, again. Yes, two. I think they did, but it got less technical yeah, and more damage creep and the more heal creep. <laughs> Gizmo, yeah. am I wrong? I mean, back then it was weird because it's like you can say that the players were technically worse, but like they were way smarter than players are nowadays. So like you had to like theory craft a lot of your plays back then, whereas nowadays it's just whoever has the better hands, you unfortunately win. So, I mean, I don't know, man. The challenger players back in season four did not know what a freeze was, so. <laughs> Hey, no, yeah. I mean, they won, they I don't know if I believe that, bro. They, they won games with it, though, so you can't really, you know, argue the process. Yeah, That's the craziest bro, part of the freeze was. Bro, if you, yeah, ADL, if you took, like, a... If you took an ADL team back in Season 2, they probably win Worlds, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> put me put me against Faker in uh, season, season 3, I'm clapping him. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. But, right, uh, I mean, honestly, this could be a whole discussion... <laughs> uh, for another time because we could be here all day but i know some of y'all got other plans i do as well um i gotta go get ready for the next day you know real life calls unfortunately so let's get our last words thoughts and shout outs in uh we'll go ahead and start with j3 um so yeah any last words shout outs call outs you want to uh yeah look out for us next season okay <laughs> That's Brand if Flay, new. That's if Flay let you in. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, y'all will be ready. He probably we'll will, like... just so he can get your money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we excited. Uh, all I'm gonna say is this week will be interesting uh, for Cosmic. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you think all these matches go some dreams might be shattered and that dream might be mine yeah you guys kind of have to like uh cook well if we win if we lose against the fall all i'm gonna say is is that i'll see you guys on the other side <laughs> okay 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 wkg um shout out my team i think uh, we're definitely gonna make playoffs but i think we can do really well if we uh if we actually try and uh, improve a bit. Okay. All right. Gizmo. I'm going to actually shout out ADL for putting on a really competitive league, actually. Um, but I will shout out my own team going into playoffs. Uh, we've definitely had like the rocky start to the season and came back and made playoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, we're kind of in our form. So all the other teams in playoffs, you know. Especially that that easier side, you know, the the cosmic group. They oh, got to yeah. watch out, especially. So, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put you they, on the spot. They don't, they don't, they don't know what Dark Star is about, man. I'm Completely the, different league on the other side. I'm gonna put you on the spot real quick too, Gizmo. Which team do you like coaching more, your ADL team or your AML team? Well, it's funny you say that because I've got a team in ACL, I've got a team in AML, I got a team in ADL, and I got a team in Titan Immortal. So, I mean, I've got four, but. Uh, I really don't have a favorite. The easiest one to work lies, with is actually my, my Everyone idea. has a favorite. They just lie about it. Uh, okay. okay, no. I mean, you can just do the cop-out answer. You like all of them, but not all, all at the same time. No, so. no, no, I was actually going to answer this. Actually, the easiest <laughs> roster to work with is my ACL team, but 
in terms of like the group that I've got, I like my ADL team a lot better. Ooh. They've been together a lot longer. So someone clipped that and sent yep. it to Miles Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, I set him up. I set him up. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm kidding though. I'm kidding. But hey, anything uh, else, Gizmo? Hey, nah, that's good? all for me. All right, Smurf, you next. Um, I'm on, I'm only say you one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to show that LAN mid laners can be equal or okay. better than NA mid laners. That's all. I mean, I just assume everyone's better than NA mid laners, but that's just me. Hey, Smurf for MVP and All Star, the whole thing. Throwing it out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Tanner, last words from you. Oh wait, hold up, real quick, Tanner. I meant to ask you. Optimal Esports. Um, who's on? Let me, who's on your roster, real quick? You ain't got Zhao PP and all them on your roster, do you? Or are they? No. All right. Are y'all? Is that Zhao PP? Do, do you know who that is? Yeah, no, I know but who that it's Pi Pi. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know who that is? He's not on the roster now. So oh. there's Because, no, even... they were on the Optimal Esports team last split, but in yeah. what used Animal, to be, I, I don't know, like, with the whole I shift, was, I don't I know it was... if it was the old APL or AEL or the oh. old AML, but I think it was the old AEL. Say... Yeah, something yeah, like that. They were, like, plat. I think it was AEL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, um, oh, are you, like all those teams are. I wonder if they're like still in the same umbrella type stuff. No, nah, anyway. no, no. There's there's a bunch of different teams under uh, Optimal Esports. Got you, got you, got you. All right, yeah, but go ahead, get your last words in, bro. Shout um, out to whatever. I just want to say we're on our uh, run to be number one in Cosmic. We just need to uh, please lose to Bing Chillers so we can, you know, take this dub against Royal Esports and Bing Chillers. We had to reschedule and then we'll be number one. The RDG in playoffs and lose because they're sick. <laughs> all righty, all righty. Well, good luck to you all. Um, thank you everyone for tuning in here to the Aegis podcast once again. Uh, make sure you tune in for the ADL on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's week seven next week coming up and then playoffs. So, uh, by the time I roll around again, I think you guys will be on. Yeah, I got round of 16, or is it um, just quarterfinals? Probably uh, round one, quarterfinals, right? I think it's right? I think it's, I think it's top eight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's quarters that uh, is the first round anyways. Quarters, quarters, semis, finals. That's it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, so by the time... You're all of us are five, right? And I'll probably be at semifinals. Uh, not sure. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming they're all best of fives, but could be wrong. I think with how short it is, it should be best of fives. Yeah. Last year I, I was that Morgan way. I I though, but I would hope it's best of fives. But quarters might be best of three just to make it go quicker. Who knows? Maybe. Um, but semis and finals. Are the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got the vacuum going, so that must be when it's the time to go. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Ages podcast. Tune in next week, 8 p.m. Eastern. Actually, Stay tuned, because we don't know what, what time we're going to be in next week. We might have a special guest, special episode coming up. But in the meantime, stay humble, stay blessed, and stay safe out there. Till next time, peace. <laughs>